Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Giggity, real name is Mark, and in today's video we're going to be going over the most overrated car of each class in GTA Online. I say car, but that also includes boats, helicopters, planes. There are, I think, 21, I should have probably written that down now that I'm thinking about it, I definitely should have, but I didn't. I think there was 21 classes, not including the RC class, the remote control class is not included for obvious reasons, there's only two vehicles in it and there's no point in doing that. So every single other class though, we are going to go over the most overrated. We recently, I want to say, probably like a week ago at this point, did the most underrated car of each class and you guys seem to enjoy that. You were like, that's a good idea, Mark, we should do it on overrated next. And so here it is, partner. We're not going in any specific order either, by the way. It's not like alphabetic or freaking like performance or anything like that. We're just going to go in just a random order. So without further ado, let's go right into it. We're going to talk about SUVs first. And the most overrated car in the SUVs class, in my opinion, is the Novak. The Novak doesn't get like a crazy amount of love or anything like that. Like people don't talk about the Novak all that much. But people, I do see people racing it in racing, in, in, in like races. And it is a, whenever I refer to like lap times or whatever, by the way, just know that I'm referring to Bruffy 1322's lap times go give him a shout man he's great but either way uh yeah every time like i'm in a, it's like yeah it's a good card so i think it's like still top 10 suvs but that's not good enough in the suvs class i also forgot to mention that the novak just looks ugly too but next up is the service class and obviously there's not like anything cool in the service class it's just a bunch of random vehicles so i'm going with the freight train because none of the other vehicles are even talked about at all the only one that is talked about is the freight train because people want to stop it right Everybody was like, oh my god, how do you stop the freight train? Then it turned out you just put a couple sticky bombs on the top of it, of, 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 the, of the actual, like, driver cab. Uh, you put a couple sticky bombs up there and blow it up, and it stops. That, that's about it. Cycles class, I might get some haters for this one, but it's the BMX bike. The reason why I might get haters for this one is because I also said this is the most underrated vehicle in the Cycles class, because they're bicycles, man. No one talks about any bicycle in this game besides the BMX. None of the other ones are even, I, I don't even, I can't even whip it. I can think of the whip it race bike. That's it. And they, all the other ones, I can't think of the names of them. They're just, they're so forgettable. <laughs> the BMX is obviously the coolest bike out in the game for sure. But it's, since it's the only one people talk about, it's both the most underrated, but also the most overrated. Emergencies class. It is going to the police Buffalo Cruiser. The only reason why I put this one here is because we just recently did get a couple additions to the emergencies class, but I don't think they've been out long enough to actually be like, oh yeah, this is overrated, this is underrated. So we're gonna be go with this one because people, there's so many videos of people being like, oh my god, how to get a police Buffalo Cruiser? And in the reality, man, the game has been out for freaking 11 years now, which is absolutely insane to say. By the way, there are probably people starting GTA Online that were born the year it came out. Out, which is crazy but the game's been out for 11 years it's not that special anymore coming in for the compacts class which is finally like an actual decent class the emergency cycles who cares but compacts is the ballistic kanjo it's obviously a super cool car for car meets don't get me wrong like if you if you're a car meet kind of guy you just want to like i 100 recommend owning a kanjo you know what i'm saying like definitely go out and buy one if you don't have one already they're cool cars but their performance is super lackluster. It, it is a compact, and almost every compact car in the game has lackluster performance. But the Ballistic Hanjo really strikes me as one where you think it'd be at the top of the class, but it, it's not. And coming in for the sports class. This is a big class, partner, so I had to really give it some thought. And I went with the Pariah. There are a lot of cars from the sports class and the supers class together that have risen to a huge high and then had a sad, sad fall. The Pariah is one of those, but for some reason, the people of the community still talk about it like it hasn't had the fall. It has. Just like the LG RH8, you know how we, we don't talk about the LG RH8 anymore because it's been outclassed? It's the same thing with the Pariah, man. This thing is not that competitive anymore. Is it still good? Yes. Like, you still do have a chance of winning races, especially if it's, like, mainly straight lines because it can go so fast in a straight line, but it's not good enough to be, like, an Italia RSX. Oh, also, again, I forgot to mention, too, just like with the Novak, that I think the Pariah is ugly. That's just personal preference, but I think it is. Industrials class, though. Nothing cool in the Industrials class whatsoever, so I'm going with the Guardian. There is not a single vehicle in the Industrials class that people do talk about. So I just went with this one, and I put a question mark next to it because I was like, I don't, I don't really know. Moving on. Motorcyclist class is obviously going to make some people angry because... But the people that are going to get angry at it are the type of people that I want to make angry because you guys freaking ruin my day. It's the Oppressor Mark II. Oppressor Mark II kids can come over my house, pick every single corn can, corn kernel out of my feces and put it in their shepherd's pie and eat it because I hate them. The Oppressor Mark II in general, though, is useful, obviously, if you're flying around the map, getting some quests done and stuff like that, especially like Kyle Perico setups. Like, yeah, it's useful. Um, But 
overall, dude, it's really like actually learn how to drive a Mark One oppressor, and you'd realize like, you know what? It really isn't that much better. It really isn't. For the boats class, however, I'm gonna go with the Kraken. The Kraken is one of the submarines. There's two in the game, I do believe so. But yeah, there's it's one of the submarines in the game, and just because it's a submarine, people do give it some hype. I mean, the boats in general in this game are absolutely useless. You would have better luck trying to tame a shark and then ride the shark around the oceans than you would actually driving a boat in in this game. Um, but the Kraken in the other one, the other submarine, I forget what it's called are both ones that strike me as like i see a lot of content of people being like oh my god it's a submarine so it's special but then in reality you drive it and it's horribly slow and it's like who actually cares about going under the water and seeing these things like no one does helicopters this one is going to make some people angry because i see a lot of people flying it it's the akula the akula does have the stealth mode hey listen partner that's awesome for griefing but that's it you don't need the stealth mode for anything else in the game because they're AI, they're NPCs, they're easy to beat, and even if they weren't easy to beat, they don't really care about the stealth mode and they just shoot at you anyway. So, the only reason why you would ever fly this is for griefing, and guess who I hate? Griefers. I wish an early death to all of them. I don't like them. So, I don't like this, <laughs> this helicopter. It's just another attack helicopter in my opinion. I don't actually wish an early death to you griefers, by the way. That was a bit harsh, but I still I do wish you like stub your toe or something, you know, get a splinter every day. Like that would be nice. Sports classics class is a big one though, and I'm going with the deluxe. So it's another one of the vehicles that people drive around in all the time. So I'm going to make people angry. But again, the only people that are actually drive in it and actually care about that is griefers. And I've already just explained my thoughts about them. The Deluxo itself freaking sucks for absolutely everything else. It's slow in the class and it has absolutely no customization, so it's not cool. It's cool that it's a DMC DeLorean, sure, but it would be a lot cooler if there was something else about it. And flying around in cars, it just doesn't, and it's so hard to control, it's just not fun. Muscles class, another big one, two big boys back to back. We got the Lizzo class and then the freaking, freaking... I don't know, name another big person. Queso class, right back to back to each other. Muscles. Gauntlet Classic Custom. The reason why I'm putting it here is because the Gauntlet Classic is just cooler in every, every single way and it's not that much faster anyway, so do not spend your money on the custom version. It doesn't even make sense because the Plymouth Superbird in real life was based off of a Charger platform, not a Challenger platform. So why did the Gauntlet get the freaking... the, the, the Daytona treatment and they didn't just make like a Charger, you know? It makes no sense. Planes class, and it's going to the Hydra. Obviously, the Raiju has dethroned the other two jets, Laser and the Hydra. The Raiju came out, and that thing is just a sphincter ripping machine. Those things do not discriminate, they murder everything. So, that takes over the spot. But even if it wasn't for that dude, I've always liked the Laser so much better. It feels, I don't know if this is actually true, but it feels faster than the Hydra, and I never use the VTOL mode anyway, so I don't really care about that in the Hydra. I've always just liked the Laser, and the Hydra doesn't look as cool. I know it's such a weird thing, because they look very similar, but actually take a good long look at the Hydra, and then look at the Laser, and then tell me which one looks more like aggressive. It's the Laser all day. Coops class, and we're going to go with the Previan. To be honest, there's not a lot of coops in the game that people do talk about, and the only ones that they do talk about deserve to be talked about, like the FR-36 or the Euro X-32 now, which just came out. But the Previan is one that I have seen some people be like, yeah, it's it's good. It was good for like a week when it was released, um, but then after that, it just it's just useless. It's not good for the tuners racing. It's not good for coops racing. It's just not that good of a vehicle. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, again, because I keep freaking doing this for some reason, it's based off of an SC300 and looks absolutely nothing like an SC300, and the the uh, the customization for the car is absolutely awful. Its fitment is horrible. Anyway, utility. No one cares about utility, but I'm going to go with the slam truck. It's cool. It's got the ramp on it, but you can't keep vehicles on the actual ramp. You can't, like, keep them there and, like, park them up if you're driving, so I don't really get it. Sedans class is another class just like the Coupes class where not as many people talk about it as they should, but I am going to go with the Deity. The Deity does have a Monty Tech, so that is something that it's got going for it right off the bat. And it's also a very good car if you're into the stance stuff. If you like stancing your cars and going to car meets, this thing has from the, the original, like, you don't have to do the glitch. You could just buy the suspension and it's on the ground, which is cool. It has cool aspects to it, but its performance is horrible and it's honestly just... A pretty boring car even for the sedans class there are a lot of sedans in this game that are boring i mean it's not they're not the, the most the most uh beautiful class out there but the deity is just one that strikes me as like oh yeah that exists every time i think of it military class this class is actually bigger than you would think because military vehicles are used so much in gta online since everybody thinks it's an actual active war zone when they log in and i'm going with the tmo2 kanjale also 
every time i type in the letters tm on my computer it does like the trademark symbol instead of just the regular tm which drives me nuts either way the kanjali obviously is pretty decent for like police chases but for absolutely everything else it's just way too slow it is it is just abysmal it's also not as strong as you would think man i have been blown up in my kanjali more times than i can think supercars is probably the biggest class in the entire game for uh people though and like obviously for like actual cars the biggest class is a sports class with like over 100 but the one that people care about the most is a supers class so i'm gonna go with a torero xo and hope that nobody comes over and spot gouges my eyes out with a spoon but i don't think it's going to happen because most people don't talk about it too too much anymore but boy oh boy when this thing came out everybody was like <gasps> oh my god it's so fast it's so fast it's going on your time even though the ignis was still faster than it at the time and i'm pretty sure the emiris was already out too it was it was already out so the emiris was still fast like there were so many vehicles that were still faster than the torero xo in the super class it just wasn't ever something worth buying open wheels class and we're gonna go with actually the fastest class car in the class the br8 the br8 is the fastest car in the open wheels class and it is also the fastest car in the game so why am i saying it's overrated because people i've seen videos of people say like oh you should buy a br8 because it's the fastest car in the game for racing but how often do you actually do open wheel racing? It's very rare in GTA Online. It's it's people don't do that. People just race supercars. It always has been supercar racing, and it always will be supercar racing. Open wheel, unfortunately, just doesn't get the love it deserves. And so e buying one of these things is going to be a waste of your money unless you just plan on doing like one like th a race with three people of open wheels all the time. Like you're not going to want to do that because it's boring. And for the tuners class, I think this is personally the biggest one that I would worry about just because you can get a free vehicle every single week with the the, the podium there in the uh, Los Santos car meet. But I think the Vector is the most overrated. Now, the Vector is still definitely at the top of its class. You got like the Sultanaris Classic, the Vector, and the Calico GTF. Those are like the fastest tuners cars in the class. So why am I putting it as the most overrated? Because the Vector, in my opinion, is the hardest to handle. The Sultanaris Classic does have a bit of an oversteer, and the Calico GTF does have a bit of understeer, but the vector has like a weird combination of both and reacts to bumps poorly so it's just the worst one for like a the beginner to get into and it's not the fastest if you can master it that's the sultan rs classic so i would just recommend going with that off the bat off-roads class however is going to go to the vagrant Va off-roads doesn't really have many vehicles that people talk too much about so i just went with the vagrant here because it looks kind of like flashy so i feel like new players might want to buy it and think it's like gonna be cool and fast or whatever um so i'm just gonna tell them that it's not uh again nobody really talks about any vehicles in the off-roads class it's actually a really just slept on class in general they have some cool sick freaking vehicles in the off-roads class but the vagrant is just not one of them to me commercials class another class that absolutely nobody cares about we're ending the video off with classes that nobody cares about by the way because the next class is the final class and it's going to be the vans class but either way yeah commercials class is the phantom wedge there are not many vehicles in this class that are worth even talking about but the phantom wedge does get some love because of the fact that it has the wedge on the front it's fun you know driving around flying cars out of your way flying the police out of your way for a little bit but then it just gets really boring really fast and the price tag on this thing is too high to actually be like yeah you should buy this just for the fun aspect of it for like and you only have fun with it for like 10 minutes and finally leaving off with the vans class another class that no one cares about but i'm gonna go with the clown van only because the same reason of the police buffalo cruiser uh it's the same reason with that it's just that people there's so many videos of people being like how to get this special rare vehicle but then you actually get it and you realize there's nothing special about it whatsoever is it rare yes not a lot of people have them but it's not special in any way it's just a van with like clown horn it's a speedo with a clown horn and a clown paint job on it that's it besides that it's not worth all the effort to go and get one of these things and to take up one of your beloved garage spots in this game like it's just not worth it but ladies and gentlemen that is the end of today's video of the most overrated car of each class in gta online i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please be sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this let me know what other videos you'd like to see in the comment section down below uh let me know what other like the most blank car of each class videos you want to see because i'm already kind of running out of, out of ideas for this uh sub series of videos so i'm gonna need some more of those bad boys but anyway thank you guys so much i love each and every one of you das vidanya and we're also almost at 4,000 subscribers by the way which is absolutely insane but das vidanya and have a nice night